It's good to be Gordon. Gordon is a beautiful blue engine with a great big boiler and a separate tender for his coal. Gordon's favourite job is to pull the express. One beautiful spring morning, the fat controller came to see Gordon. Today, if you pull the express across the island and back again, on time, then you will set a new Sodor record. Gordon was excited. He wanted to set a new record more than anything. Hooray for Gordon, whistled Thomas, and all the engines tooted. Gordon steamed over to the coal depot. He rolled under a coal chute and his tender was quickly filled. Gordon started puffing away when the yard manager called. Stop! Gordon! You've been given Henry special coal by mistake. Gordon knew that Henry needed special coal, but he thought Henry's coal would help him go faster. So he pretended not to hear. Henry had to take tar wagons to Knapford. He rolled his tender under the chute and waited for his coal. I'm sorry, Henry, said the yard manager. There is no special coal left. You will have to use ordinary coal today. Henry was worried. Ordinary coal clogged his firebox and stopped him making steam. But he knew he had work to do. It's only for one day he said bravely. I will try my very best. Gordon arrived at Knapford Station. His passengers boarded and he happily set off right on time. Soon Gordon was chuffing as fast as he could. He didn't know if it was Henry's coal or the crisp, bright air. But today, it felt good to be Gordon. It didn't feel good to be Henry. Henry's tar wagons were very heavy, and his engine didn't like the ordinary coal. Gordon steamed across the island. The record is mine, the record is mine. Henry was having a terrible time. He was rocking and rolling, coughing and wheezing. The workmen are waiting, the workmen are waiting, he gasped. Thomas thought Henry looked very ill indeed. Gordon was making good time and feeling grand. Have you seen Henry? asked Thomas worriedly. He looks very poorly. I'm sure Henry is fine, Gordon hooted. But his face was as green as his tender, Thomas puffed. Now Gordon began to wish he hadn't taken Henry's coal, but he still wanted to set a new record. So when the signal changed, Gordon puffed on. But no matter how fast Gordon went, he couldn't get away from the bad feeling in his boiler. Gordon wasn't enjoying being Gordon anymore. Gordon had to stop to let off passengers. Henry was taking on water. Henry's face was green, his axles were shaking, and dark smoke billowed from his funnel. Are you feeling all right? asked Gordon. I didn't get my special coal this morning, coughed Henry. My firebox feels funny. But then it was time for Gordon to leave. 
Hooray for Gordon, wheezed Henry. You'll set a new record for sure. Gordon could see Knapford Station up ahead. The fat controller was there. Gordon was on time and going to set a new record. But Gordon's bad feeling was now so strong, he thought his boiler would burst. Gordon slowed to a halt. You're going to be late, cried his driver. I don't care, whistled Gordon, and he started to reverse. Gordon soon reached Henry. Henry had stopped for a rest. He was surprised to see Gordon. I took your special coal this morning, puffed Gordon. I wanted to go faster than ever. I'm very sorry, but now I have a good idea. Gordon and Henry swapped tenders. Soon, Henry's firebox was full of special coal. Henry felt better right away. Thank you, Gordon, he huffed happily, and together they puffed off to Knapford Station. But Gordon and the Express were late. Only Thomas was there. The fat controller had gone home for his tea. I'm sorry you didn't set a new record today, chuffed Henry. And I'm sorry I took your coal, puffed Gordon. Who holds the old record? whistled Thomas. I do, said Gordon, and the good friends laughed.